Hi, hello. We shall be developing panel cointegration model and later we shall develop panel dynamic OLS model meaning that panel DOLS model and here uh, we have three variables one is GDP then export and money supply we have these three variables the variables are here I can show you all the variables they are here you can see the variables I can open up all the variables as a group I can see the variables are here okay so here are the variables for six countries and the data for 10 years from the year 2000 until year 2010 okay so there are six country so first is country one it is here you can see from here from the year 2000 until until 2010 so that is the country number one then country number two start from 2000 until 2010 country number three start from 2000 until 2010 in this way I have six countries right start from start from 2000 until 2010 and the, there are three variables export GDP and money supply the data are all here you can see from here right data are all here okay but we assume that our three variables such as export GDP and money supply they are non stationary at level but when I convert them into first difference then they become stationary that we assume at the very beginning without testing and when this thing happen only then I can develop panel cointegration model so 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 now I can develop the panel cointegration model okay how to proceed I go to uh, I go to where I go to just a minute I go to I go to where I go to quick group statistics then desktop cointegration I write my three variables GDP export and money supply okay here I put GDP first why because GDP would be the dependent variable in the panel dynamic OLS model so that is why here I also put GDP first as a target variable or or dependent variable and here I assume that all three variables are non stationary but when I convert them into first difference then they will become stationary that I assume so I can run the panel cointegration model now so I press OK. OK, it was a panel test of cointuration. So there are uh, there are three tests, Pedroni, Cow and Fisher. Out of three, three tests, I shall choose the first two method. 
so first I select the pa uh, uh, Pedroni A and this Pedroni has three shape one shape is individual intercept second shape is having individual intercept and train and the third shape is no intercept or trained and uh, I shall choose all uh, I shall I shall estimate all one by one and here I select automatic lag selection that I select right that means e view e view will choose the optimum lag for me okay so uh, so uh, so I I begin with the individual intercept I click ok yes the result has come up you can see so there are three variable and what is the null hypothesis there is no co-integration among the variables that is the null hypothesis and here is no deterministic trend okay from here you can see there are two things within dimension and between dimension and here is seven statistics one is panel statistics panel row statistics panel PP statistics panel ADF group group PP and group ADF and and there are the outcomes you can see weighted statistics there there are the outcome you can see statistics and corresponding probability statistics corresponding probability statistics corresponding probability and here are 11 outcome 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 outcome and all 11 outcome will be considered okay first I talk about this one 51.51 percent 51.51 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that I can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that meaning that our variables uh, sorry sorry I cannot reject I'm done mistake because it is 51.51 percent which is more than 5 percent so I cannot reject rather I accept the null hypothesis meaning that there is no co-integration among the three variables and also what about this one 46.75 percent I cannot reject null hypothesis what about the third one p-value is uh, is, uh, is uh, 0 0.32 percent which is less than 5 percent meaning that I can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that our three variables are co-integrated ok now I check out of 11 outcome how many outcome are significant 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 6 are significant out of 11 meaning that the majority are significant so we can say that so we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that our three variables are co-integrated meaning that all the three variables have long run association ship okay now we check the second test that we have I go there panel desktop country I come here okay now I, I select the second one second shape of the test of Pedroni 
that I select okay here is the all of the same story comes up almost the same figure but here you can see here are 11 outcome out of 11 outcome 1 2 3 4 are significant that means out of 11 only 4 so that means the that means the number is less so we cannot reject the null hypothesis because uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 are not significant meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis the majority are not significant so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that our variables are not co-integrated okay then I, I I check the third one third shape okay I third one no intercept and train right this one I check press okay so this one is I see no train right and null is no co-integration okay here I can check uh, how many are significant one two three four five six out of eleven that means majority is is telling that we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis so meaning that uh, I can show you from here meaning that between these three one two three two are telling that we can reject the null hypothesis so so we can take take a take the decision that our variables are co-integrated okay then uh, we have the second method cow method right cow method I select and then I see what is happening there so cow method you can see the ADF statistics probability is 0 0.34 percent which is less than 5 percent so I can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that variables are co-integrated so the majority are telling that the variables are co-integrated or they have long-run association ship and when the variables have long run association shape or when the variables are co-integrated only then we can run panel dynamic OLS model so so now we shall develop the panel dynamic OLS model okay so that we can do now Okay, and, uh, and 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 the thing is that panel panel dynamic OLS model actually very very sophisticated and efficient model. So far we have seen, and so we can run it now. Okay, so, so how to run? I go to quick. Then uh, okay, I go to and the then estimate equation right you can see from here estimate equation okay here I put the GDP as the dependent variable right the way I said when I run the uh, wh when I run the uh, panel desktop co-integration so so money supply three variables right that I can do and from here uh, uh, from the method I select the 
co-integrating regression right that I select okay now you can see the outcome GDP export money supply dependent variable and here I select none as the trend uh, specification and here panel method I select group method because grouped method seems to be okay there are three option right you can see three option so out of three option the group method seems to be efficient then other other method and something uh, other method and here are two method dynamic OLS and fully modified OLS and dynamic OLS seems to be efficient then fully modified method right so I I take the dynamic OLS model and here the lax lead I take one and one okay so the model is set so now I can run the model right everything is set properly I press ok to run the model the outcome is come up this one is the is the long run model not uh, long run model the so GDP is the dependent variable you can see from here and export and money they are the they are the uh, independent variable and the coefficient are here there are two coefficient and these two coefficient are long run coefficient long run coefficient you can see right and these two coefficient are significant you can see from it they are significant and the sign is positive right the sign is positive okay here what is going on the sign is positive meaning the suppose I talk about this one export right so export is going on if the export goes up by one unit our GDP would go up 0.015655 unit because the sign is positive okay in the same way I can say if the money supply goes up one unit our GDP would go up by 0.197847 unit so that is the interpretation of this result and export and money supply they individually can influence GDP and here the sign is positive for export and money supply the sign is positive and that follows the economic theory so we are happy about this model so far thank you very much for being with me for a while